I've gained over 100 pounds in the last three years. Don't believe me? Check out these photos. So I recently just moved down to Texas. I'm actually in my new apartment right now. And it's given me a lot of time to reflect on the progress I've made over the last four years. So I figure, you know, what better way to document this than to put it in a YouTube video. So you're probably asking yourself, how did you go from 160 pounds, six foot two, to the hunkin' man that you see before you, 6'4", 265 pounds? Well, let me tell you. I basically broke this down into a three step process that you need to follow. Now this is universal. This is gonna work for everything, everything in life, everything that you could possibly think of. So just, it's a plug and play. Can you read? Can you read that? I actually don't know. Step one is something that I'm not, I don't know what it is because I'm gonna edit it in later because I'm too lazy to write it on the board right now. So you don't get to know. It's a secret. Fuck you editing. Right. Damn it. Just kidding, I know exactly what the steps are. The steps should be memorized, that's a test for you. So make sure you have these steps memorized. Step one, stop being a bitch. This is important, all right? I'm gonna refer to this step, step one, stop being a bitch, throughout the video. So make sure you remember this one, this is the most important step. Step two, eat more. I know what you're thinking, I hear, and I hear I'm not kidding, I hear this all the time. Oh, Brian, you know, I wanna gain weight, but I just, I can't eat, I can't eat anything. Refer to step one. Stop being a bitch. Start eating more. Count your calories. Be honest about counting your calories. Get a dang scale if you have to, to be honest. Like, do whatever you need to do to make sure that you are getting the proper amount of calories in. Because I promise you, if you do eat the proper calories, you're gonna gain weight. That's just how it works. And then if we move on to step three, train harder. When all else fails, you can always just train your ass off. So that's a really important step. And if you're having trouble with that, again, refer to step one. So those are the, that's my three step process for getting jacked and stacked and absolutely masked up. So follow, you can follow that if you're ever feeling like you're not jacked enough. So that is the three step process that I use. I mean, in all seriousness, it's not something that uh, like I actually came up with back in the day, but hey, it, it's, it works pretty well, honestly. So let's start from the beginning. I get to college, I can't do blacksmithing anymore. I used to do a lot of blacksmithing. If you wanna see that, you can scroll way back in my channel and find little videos about that kind of stuff. But I got to college, couldn't do it anymore, and I needed something to hyper obsess over because, you know, I got a, I got a little bit of the tism. You know, I got that hyper fixation, got the hyper fixation hack, got that hyper, hyper fixation personality trait. I started doing research about the different sports that I could do in the strength world and Bodybuilding's cool, but I've never had abs, so that's probably out of the picture. Powerlifting is also cool, but there's not a lot of powerlifters that are 6'4", and the ones that are 6'4", are like over 400 pounds. And the static lifts are fun, but they get kind of boring after a while. So then that left me with strongman. Okay, I'm tall. That's good for strongman. You can do very good and win without being necessarily the strongest at the static events. That's another win for me. And I don't have to have abs. Boom, that's the perfect, that's the trio. That's the, that's the triangle of truth right there. That's what I needed. So I fell in love with it immediately. You know, I, I loved all the main people that were in the sport, the faces of the sport. Brian Shaw, Eddie Hall, Robert Oberst, Rob Kearney, all the guys that I first saw on YouTube and just made me fall in love with the sport. So I started doing Strongman and I started eating like I was doing Strongman. So that's kind of the introduction on how I got into weightlifting. So now let's talk about the diet a little bit. The diet basically consisted of five meals. Now this, this diet I've basically been on for the last four years. Just because it's, it's consistent, it's easy to make. Uh, I've basically been eating 5,500 calories a day, give or take. I mean, there's been, there's been periods of time where I have not been on this diet, but for the most part, I've been perma-bulking the last few years. 260 pounds, pure muscle right here. The first meal of this is six eggs and then a source of carbs. Lately, my carbs have been bagels. I don't, I've just been really into bagels lately, so what can I say, I'm you know big bagel guy. And then the rest of the four meals that I would eat throughout the day consisted of beef and rice, chicken and rice, pasta, pizza, some on occasion, only like five days a week, so it's not even that much and potatoes, potatoes and some sort of meat. So those were kind of like what I would go through, what I would filter through. With the, on occasion, you know, I'd spice things up a little bit, but for the most part, that's what I've eaten the last four years. And some people, you, you know, you might be thinking like, doesn't that get boring? I mean, not really, honestly, like, 
you know, by the fifth meal, you're just ready for something different and then you get the first meal again. So it's like, it feels like I have a lot of variety. I mean, five meals is quite a bit of variety. So honestly, it's not too bad. This diet's worked pretty well for me. My stomach agrees with it. And uh, obviously, you know, it's been doing pretty good for me so far. I've gained a decent amount of weight over the last few years, I'd say. Speaking of weight, let's talk about my weight progression a little bit. So I did not gain all this weight linearly. Let me explain what I mean by that. So obviously life happens sometimes. And now I have gained this 100 pounds over the last four years, but it has not gone smoothly. I, I'll be honest, it looks a lot like this. Look like that. Guess what? Bottom of the mountain, top of the mountain right there, you can see the growth. This is pure growth right here. And while these points got discouraging, the points where I did lose weight, whether it be external or internal reasons, you know, while that did get disappointing and I would beat myself up over it, as long as I always stayed true to myself and my long-term goals, I ended up just gaining the weight back anyways. So while it wasn't exactly linear, just doesn't mean I didn't get to where I wanted to go. So the point I'm trying to make here is just it's probably not going to be a linear process. Now, there's probably going to be some crazy people out there that have been like, yeah, I gained uh, one tenth of a pound a day for X amount of years and I, there was never a day that I didn't do that. And that's, that's great. That's really good for you. Unfortunately, that's just not the case and how it went for me, but that's fine. Uh, it's okay that, you know, this weight journey has been kind of fluctuated so much. So yes, my weight fluctuated a little bit throughout this time. At one point, my sophomore year of college, so just two years in, I was up to 260 pounds for this weight gain challenge I did. But I was also relatively not lean. If you can see from this picture here, you know, this is uh, from around that time to now, and you can see how much that I have leaned out over that course of time. The first two years was just stacking on mass as much as possible. And then the last two years basically have been me trying to increase muscle at, while also leaning out a little bit too. I've been very, a lot of up and downs. You know, it's been a learning process. I've been learning how to lift, learning how to get stronger and how to eat throughout this process. And all the mistakes that I've made, all the times that I've missed lifts or under eight has taught me valuable lessons. And it's something that I'm gonna carry with me throughout the rest of my lifting career and the rest of my life. So what I'm saying is, is that it's okay sometimes if you mess up. It's a good opportunity to use that as fuel and as motivation and as a good mental note for future reference. So that's what my weight has done over the last few years. Let's talk a little bit about my lifts because I'm sure you're all just dying to hear about that stuff. So let's start with the big three squat bench deadlift because I know that's what everybody wants to hear about. Squat, my squat went from 295 pounds to what I've done heaviest, which is 585 pounds for two. So I'm not, I haven't maxed out my squat at all recently, but 585 for two is the best I've done. Squat is a specialty of mine. It's something that I'm very good at. It is a lot better than my deadlift is just because of my mechanics. But let's get into the deadlift because that has improved a lot too. Starting back at the start of college, I hit a 365 pounds deadlift. And since then I have deadlifted 585 pounds off the floor. Uh, not crazy impressive, but again, you know, the static lifts aren't necessarily my strong suit. Um, however, my hex bar deadlift is pretty good. I went from a 315 pound hex bar deadlift all the way up to an, at my last competition, I pulled an 810 pound hex bar deadlift. So that was really good for me. Uh, big confidence booster, especially in the deadlift category, because that's still an area that I feel that I'm very behind in. So, and then finally here, bench press. I went from a 225 pound bench press to 385 pounds. I think I could bench more. It's just bench is not something that I put a lot of emphasis on because I do strongman. We don't like when's the last time you saw a bench press event at a strongman besides the shock classic. So it's just not worth the risk. You know, it's a lot of stress on my joints and ligaments. So I try not to go super crazy heavy when I'm bench pressing. I mostly just do it so that I can keep my boobs. I would hate to be flat chested. So. That's, you know, because that's really important when it comes to strongman stuff is you can't be flat chested. Then finally, let's talk about log press because that's another major lift for me. Uh, I went from uh, the summer after my freshman year of college, I did a competition and maxed out my log press. First time touching a log, 180 pounds. So that was pretty good. And then, and then recently I just hit a 300 pound log press. So log press has been really good for me and I expect to see a lot of good growth going forward. Speaking of going forward, what are my plans? What am I planning to do going forward? Well, I have goals and aspirations to become a professional strongman. I think it is something that is within my wheelhouse. And I think if I just keep putting 
forth the effort and keep growing and improving. It's something that I can accomplish over the next few years. So that's my goal. And to get there, I need to eat a lot more because I'm pretty light right now, 265 pounds. So I started a bulk again. There will be videos about that coming out later. I've started bulking, training harder than ever. Uh, I'm at a new gym now, which is really cool. They're very, uh, very strength focused there. It's going to be an amazing environment for me. So that is my goals going forward. I have no competitions coming up just because I want to take some time to put on some mass. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see some training videos about my current training and how it's helping me progress towards my goals. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it. That's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are interested in doing strongman, just do it. Stop waiting. Stop procrastinating. Get out there. Do it. Try it. See if you like it. If you want to see more content like this, leave a drop a like. Leave a like down below or something. I don't know. Show me you're here. Leave a, a comment telling me you know what kind of content I can do next. And I will see y'all in the next video.